Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm going to show you with my trusty Blendtec blender over here how to do some wet chopping. And this just consists of a vegetable that you like to chop, for example carrots that we're going to use today, and some water and the pulse button on the blender. So I'm just going to chop up a couple of carrots, put them into the blender, Add some water just to cover it and then we're just going to press the pulse button. Pulse it for a couple of times until you get the consistency you want. Which I think that looks pretty good. So then next we're going to get our colander and just go and um, get rid of all the water. Okay, so I've just got a colander and um, a bit of a container to put it in. And I'm just going to tip all that water in there. And that's chopped the way that we want. And next one I'm going to try is some zucchini. Next I'm gonna show you how to do the zucchini. So I'm just gonna chop that into a couple of pieces, put some water in it. And make sure the lid's on. Okay, so what we're going to do instead of before where we just press the pulse, this time I'm going to select the cycle menu. So there's a couple of options here. Beverages is first, the drinks ice second, whole foods third, food processing fourth, which is what we want to use, and then there's also multi-use. And then the food processing one, we're just going to use the first one. So that is the chop pulse, and we're just going to start that. So now I'm going to just empty that in through a colander and just get rid of the water. So we've got what we need. There's a couple of bits that haven't been chopped exactly as um, the rest, but that's fine. It just, there's just a few different um, consistency bits. I've just showed you how to use the wet chopping method in the Blendtec um, blender. So have a look at vivalavegan.net for more recipes.